This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by Topio Vet. Big breeds like the Golden Retriever do suffer from elbow swellings due to lying down on hard surfaces like hardwood floors, tiles or concrete. Repeated trauma causes the skin over the elbow joint to form a soft swelling to protect the elbow joint. This is an elbow hygroma. An internet search by dog owners will allow them to diagnose an elbow hygroma which is not cancerous and hence does not require urgent vet attention. However, in this golden retriever, the elbow swelling increased in size drastically in March this year. The owner phoned her vet but was told that due to Singapore's COVID-19 lockdown from April to June 2020, surgery to remove skin lumps was not permitted. In July, the elbow swelling had become gigantic. She consulted two vets in July but they advised cytology, ultrasonography, radiography and then a CT scan at a third vet who will perform the surgery. The medical costs were mounting. A quotation of more than $5,000 for the surgery caused her to seek advice from her Golden Retriever Club. A member referred her here to Topio Vets. A cytology report, an ultrasound video clip, and x rays were submitted by Vets 1 and 2 to Dr. Daniel. The ultrasound video here, taken at another vet, shows a mess with pockets of black. The pockets of black are fluid. As for the cytology report, the fluid aspirated contained red blood cells and macrophages. There was no evidence of cancerous cells. Further tests such as a biopsy is required to confirm the presence of cancer. This x-ray taken confirms the diagnosis of a mass found on the elbow of the golden retriever. Tips and advices. Early detection and surgical excision will be best if your pet has a small elbow lump. It may not be the benign hygroma, which is an elbow swelling with fluid, as suspected by the owner in this case. Early surgery may permit complete excision of this malignant tumour. In conclusion, the fine needle aspiration is not of much value in diagnosing the presence of cancerous cells. Next, a biopsy with anesthetic should be performed instead. Alternatively, surgical excision can be performed and the mesh should be sent for histopathology testing. For more information, kindly call in to our clinic or visit our website at topiovets.com.